Cairo, and Cabo family. You know what time it is. It's Orisha Prayer and Meditation with Iafunlayo and Cabo. Drop a comment, let me know you're here, like and share to bring more family into the room with us. We give thanks and praise. I say, oh, oh boy, I told mothers of Peru, Sunday, Cairo, Maryland, I love you, Too blessed to be stressed, oh boy, I told galaxy blessings, charisma, oh boy, I told Zenobia and Cairo, rosette blessings, oh boy, I told Baba Oshosi, Adupe, Jaquila, blessings, oh boy, I told Naila. J Mac blessings, Coco, share, share, Alafia, Ni, Auntie Faye blessings, daughter of Osset blessings, blessings, Oracle, Charnice, Tiffany, Cairo, Nivia, Oba, Lafia, Ekaro, Baba. Oh, Boru Aboyeo, Ayana, hey, Barbara, blessings, blessings, oh, Boato, Empress, Latifa, Lafia, Dot, ED, Tiffany, blessings, Afua, hey, good to see you, Yeshua, Ivory, yay, yay. Donna, blessings, Dr. Kiana, Ekaro, Elder Bishop, Shatara, my sister, Lafia, Nia, J, Ankh, Antoinette, blessings, blessings, faithful servant, love that name, grand rising to you, Titi, Layo, Karo, Yeye, Oshun, Karo, Omomi, Shalia, blessings, Oh, I told Mahogany, Alafia, Ni, Tiffany, good to have you with us, Camilla. Oh, boy, I told Mommy, Ajua, blessings. Yes, Rev is in the building with us. <laughs> Lotus Jones, blessings. Natasha, Tanya, oh, boy, I told I did your guess. Sonia, Ivory, Tori, blessings. In Kosi. Chris, Eva Lisa, blessings, blessings, and more blessings. Jerry, Talma, Shambao, Boato, Erica, blessings, blessings. Sunni and your little one, blessings to you both. Ramona, good morning. Safi, I love you. I need J. Ogbo, I told. I do. Cat, blessings. Good morning. Yes, so we are ready. Hey, Saba the goddess, blessings to you, my sister. Good to have you with us. We are ready, we are ready for today. We are so thankful always to be here in this place where we can give thanks and praise to all Dumari, to the ancestors, the Orisha, and all of our divine beings. We are so, so grateful to be here. And I am very grateful today to have my mama, the right red Regina, in the house with us today. I do way, I do way, I do way. We give thanks, we give thanks and praise to Olodumai, the ancestors, the Orisha, for all of their goodness to be together here in the land of the living with our right minds, a little bit of good health, a lot of bit of good health, and all of our blessings. And we are just grateful today to be able to give thanks and praise to Orumila. Mm. 
Orumila, the keeper of wisdom. Orumila, the great diviner. Second only to Olodumare, the the owner of medicine and more powerful than medicine. The immense orbit that fought the day of death. He who is perfect in the house of wisdom. Oluwami, the all-powerful who saved. We give thanks for Orumila today. Hey, Yai Sharifa in the building. Ekaro. Blessings, blessings, blessings to each and every one of you. Ashe, yes, I'm glowing with mama by my side. They're saying hi, mom. Blessings to EI. We are just so grateful to be together today. And on today, we are giving honor to Arumila. And we're talking about staying on the path to our blessings. Staying on the path to our blessings. Because some of us, you know, I'll be having to talk about us. Some of us allow ourselves to get distracted by different things as we're walking down the path to our destiny. And we're going to get a lesson today from Arumila about staying on our path and not looking left or looking right as we walk down the path of our destiny, even 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 if you were here before you know even when we are passing our father's houses and so there's a story that tells us about a time that arumila understands something arumila is called the father of wisdom right arumila is called the father of wisdom but arumila hmm, also takes advice from others and this is the most wise thing to ever do is to know that you don't know everything and that even you right even you who may be so wise and smart and brilliant as we all are no matter who we are we need advice every once in a while and so Orumila mm, he went to Olokum he went to Olokum and he sought the uh secrets of the blessings of wealth and abundance in the world and he found them with Olokun and uh, he stayed with Olokun for several years understand <laughs> hey we be thinking we doing something by reading a book or being on the internet okay or coming to prayer a few times listen Arumila stayed with Olokun for seven years studying Mm, studying the power of wealth, studying the power of abundance, studying the secrets of the bottom of the ocean. He stayed for seven years, mm, stayed for seven years. And finally, when his study was done, he got ready to return to his family in Ileife. Eh? And he asked Olokun, Olokun, as I'm getting ready to leave, is there any advice, closing advice, any parting words that you have for me, any further advice that you can give me. And Olokun said, you know, we have uh, studied together very long. You're a great student. And yes, I have a few messages for you to make sure, listen, because sometimes we get the blessing, but we don't, we can't get back home with it because we get distracted, right? And Olokun said, these are, this is the advice I'm going to give you to make sure that you get home with all the blessings that you spent seven years getting here with me. And so he said, the first thing I'm going to tell you is as you're walking down the path, do not let your feet leave the road. If you're not in a village or at your destination, don't leave the road. Mm. That's number one. Number two, don't give food to anyone who is begging you for food. Now, I know this sounds, that's like, what? I know Arumila was like, what you mean? Don't give food to somebody who's begging for food, but I, of course I'm gonna do that. But Olokun said, no, that's, that's your second piece of advice. And the third piece of advice to make sure that you get home with your blessings is never raise your knife in anger. Hmm? And so Orumila thanked Olokun and began down the road. All right, he began down the road. And of course, hey, as everything would have it, as life would have it, as he's passing through the forest, he's not to the village yet. Mm, he's not to the village yet. As he's passing through the forest, he hears screaming. He hears somebody saying, help me, help me, help me. And of course, Arumila being who he is, immediately 
wanted to go and help and he lifted his foot and he got ready to step off the road and then he heard Olokun's voice in his mind saying, wait a minute, Olokun said, don't step off the road until I get to my destination. And so I'm hearing this screaming, but I, I gotta keep it moving. It's touching my heart, it's making my stomach churn, but I gotta keep going. And so he gets to the village and when he gets to the village that was to be his first stop, he told the person at the gate, he said, listen, I was walking through the forest. I was walking through the forest and I heard um, somebody screaming for help. So maybe you want to send somebody back there to check it out and to see what is going on. And the person at the gate said, oh, no, it's good that you didn't go after that because robbers, criminals, Many times they hide in the forest and they call for help to lure people off the road so that they can rob them and steal their money and steal their blessings. Ayi, Orumila said, ha, Iba Olokun gives thanks for that first piece of advice. Ashe, I'm saved. Whoo, that was a close one because I really wanted to help. I heard them screams, but I was about to be lured into a trap, not even realizing it. Mm? Amen. And so Arumila went to the center of town and he went to a food seller. Yalonje said, yeah, I need some food. And he sat down to eat his food. And as he was eating, he noticed an old man chained up in the corner. And the old man, please, I'm hungry, please. Feed me somebody, please. I need some food. Ah, who could stand to hear that? Who can stand to hear somebody begging and willing, an old man at that, and he's eating his soup and he's looking over at the old man and he, he really wants to go and give him some of the soup, but then Olokun's voice comes into his mind and he remembers. He said, don't give food to anybody who's begging. Ah, it's so hard. But he finished his own food and he did not turn towards the old man again. And as he got ready, to leave the restaurant, he asked the Yalonje Seiya, who was with this old man begging for food in the corner? This is heartbreaking. What's going on here? She said, ah, that man, he's not a man. That is the spirit of death. We have caught him. That's why he's chained up. So you can never feed him. Anybody who gives him food will be feeding their own death, right. will be feeding their own destruction. So no, it's good that you didn't give him any of your soup. Hi! Arumila again said, Iba Olokun! Give thanks to Olokun that I followed the advice and did not feed anybody, that I did not leave the road. Mm. He was almost home. Listen, listen, they say accidents happen the closest to home. Yes, so Arumila continued on his path. He was almost home. He was almost home. He was almost home. And when he reached his very house, as he was about to turn the corner and walk up to his house, he noticed his wife was sitting outside. He said, oh, my wife. Oh, I can't wait to see her. I'm ready to hug her, kiss her, do all of that. And then he noticed, ah, as he was approaching, that a very handsome young man, strapping, built, ah, looking good, came out of the house and bent down and kissed his wife. He said, ah, what is going on here? And he snatched his knife off his belt and raised his arm and got ready to charge and take care to handle that. And then Olokun's voice rang in his mind. Olokun said, never raise your knife in anger. And just as he raised the knife and remembered that message from Olokun, he heard the, the man say, he heard his wife say, ah, omomi dada, my good child, my good child. You see, Orumila had been gone from the house for seven years. He didn't even recognize his own son. That's who the young man was. The young man who had grown up over seven years, he had gone through his puberty, he had gone through his growth spurt to the point that Orumila didn't even recognize him. And he was ready hmm, to raise his knife. He was ready to handle that with a little yakina yakina, right? But he remembered Olokun's message and he said, Ay, Olokun, Iba Olokun. 
All of your advice proved timely. I stayed on the road so I didn't get robbed. I didn't feed the spirit of death to cause my own destruction. And I didn't mm, destroy my own offspring who I didn't recognize because I had been gone so long. I didn't know why. It's funny, me and Rev were just talking about this yesterday. She said, does E5 ever tell you why? When you get these directives, does E5 ever tell you why? I said, sometimes we know why, but sometimes we don't know, right? It's only in hindsight. It's only after going through the experience. It's only after seeing what happens that we now get the why, that we now come to understand the advice that we were given. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, several points on this story. Number one, of course, is the point that even those who with infinite wisdom mm -hmm, still need to go to others to learn, still need to submit themselves to being students, still need to learn things that they may not know. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. a lot of people are going to call for help as we're walking down the road. A lot of people are going to say, please come and help me. Please come and feed me. Please come and do this for me. Please come and do that for me. Please, 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 please. People going to be begging, right? But understand that until we get our own blessings home, <laughs> until we get our own blessings to our homes where we can plant them, right? We're not necessarily in the position to help everybody because understand that the robbers, right? It may not be literal robbers, but anytime we're giving to another, we're taking something away from ourselves. We're sacrificing something from ourselves. And of course we know that is noble, but there are times Mm -hmm. There are times, there are times, there are times when we have to focus on our own evolution. There are times when we have to keep what we have for ourselves, right? There are times that we can't hear every cry, everybody that says, help me, right? Everybody that says, come on, I'm, I'm being hurt. Everybody that says, I'm hungry, we got to eat first. We got to eat first. We got to eat first, right? And then finally, mm, jump into conclusions, understanding that things are not always as they appear, especially if you know that you've been away, right? That you've been away from a place that you have uh, not been there, then you have to take a moment. You can't jump to any conclusions. Things change, right? Things shift and we can't right? Assume that we know what's going on, even if it look crazy, mm -hmm. right? Even if it look like something's going on that we don't quite understand, Amen. even Amen. if it looks like something that we should raise our knives to, Amen. we got to take that moment yes. and Stop. keep our ori. We got to take yes. that moment yes. and say, ori yes. me tutu, yes. Yes. let me get the whole picture, yes. right? Before, mm, before we jump to conclusion and possibly destroy, look at what happened. He got through challenge number one. This is what happens to many of us. Got through challenge number one. Got through challenge number two. And then the deepest challenge, the biggest challenge, where did it happen? Right at the entrance to his house. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. at the entrance to his house. He almost destroyed everything. Yeah. Right at the door to his very own home. Yeah. Right? So understand, 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 understand. We need to heed the advice that we are given, even when we don't know the why, right? Because all of our traditions tell us that the Almighty can see things that we don't see, that the Almighty knows things that we don't know, right? That there are things Ifa says, even he doesn't know everything. Or Rumula says that no one knows the beginning and the end of all things. And so we must always take that moment mm, to reflect we must always take that moment of patience suruni babaiwa patience is the father of character to make sure mm, to make sure to make sure that we get our blessings home ah uh, that's gonna be our mantra today i'm staying on the path to my blessings go on and drop that in the chat i am staying on the path to my blessings. I'm not going to be distracted by anybody shouting for help. I'm not going to be distracted by anybody begging for food. I'm not going to be distracted by thinking that somebody's messing with my person because if they my person, then can't nobody come in and mess with them like that. 
I'm staying on the path. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Come on, Dr. Kiana. I see you. Shalia Sinka. Yes, Afua. We're staying on the path to our blessings. No distractions. That's right. Staying on the path. Come on, Sharon. I see you. He go. AJ, Shonda. Yes, we are staying on the path to our blessings today. Christine, Titi, Layo, Stephanie. Yes, Natasha. Yes, yes. Zenobia, Berlisha. I see you all. Cynthia. Yes, yes, yes. We are staying. On the path to our blessings, we are not getting distracted. Hmm? We are not getting robbed of our blessings. We are not feeding death and destruction. We are not doing any of those things, but we are staying on the path to our blessings. We are getting them all the way home. We're not going to get them just to the doorstep and then drop them. Because many times hmm, we get it all the way home and get to the doorstep and drop it. But no, we are staying the path. We are crossing the doorstep with our blessings today, tomorrow, and always. Yes, Jerry, Thalma, Ashe, 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 Lotus. Yes, 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 yes. We will not be robbed. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. We will get them in the door. Ashe, not just to the door, but in the door. Ashe, 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 Ashe. Yes, now, to, 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 I do I do play, I do play, I do play with me. Yes, I see you on the path. Ashe, 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 Ashe. That's right, I see you, Natasha, coming through with that Ori prayer. What's for me is for me. Woo, come on, Akira. I'm not going to rob myself. I'm staying on the path. Yes. You know I love it when y'all help me preach. We give thanks and praise. Ashe. So as we get ready to move into our prayer space, mm. We're just going to pray for the obedience. We're going to pray to always listen to good advice and heed good counsel. We're going to pray to not mm, be distracted, to not go left, to not go right, but to go straight to the place where our blessings are, to get the blessings and, and to get them back home without any distractions. I share, I share, I share, I share, I share, I share, I share. Ooh, yes, so we know that, that precious element that stays on its path, that knows its direction. As soon as it hits the ground, it doesn't have to think it goes. Come on, Akira, we all the way up. Yes, all the way up. Nothing can stop us. We all the way up. Yes, always. And we can stay that way when we heed. Huh, the good advice. You already know what I'm coming with. Yes, that precious element of water. We know that's what to share, fellow. Way, oh, me low, hello. If we won't go wash, hey, it's water we go use. Share, fellow, say, be, oh, me low, hello. If we won't cook soup, it's water we go use. So we say, oh, me tutu, I share tutu, and I tutu, we lay tutu, tutu, not oye, tutu, bobo, I go tutu, bobo, we share tutu, and me, oh, tutu, bobo, wa, tutu, or re. Come on and touch that, oh. Yes, now we know if I says if you need a house, hey, you gotta ask your Ori. And if you need a spouse, yes, you gotta ask your Ori. And if you need that money, yeah, hey, you know you gotta ask your Ori because it is only through the lens of Ori, it is only through our own consciousness and conscience, it is only through remaining cool that we are able to recognize and utilize. Remember, they go together. We can recognize the blessing but not make use of it. Recognize and utilize our blessings. I say, Ori, woo. May my Ori always expand to accept my blessings. I share, I share, I share, I share. Mojuba o, Mojuba o Oba te re re ka ye. Mojuba ti ojo, Mojuba ti wo ru, Mojuba ile o gere a foko ye re. Mojuba ru mi la ile di fin. Mojuba i baru mo le o ju kotu, Mojuba i baru mo le o ju kosin. Mojuba o tan le ni ri mo iru mo le. Mojuba koda, Mojuba sheda, Mojuba rebelo chife, Mojuba wone a fin ju e ye. Mojuba e gungu ile, koyo red says this. E gungu ba wa she. E gungu ba wa she. Iba e gungu mo pe. E gungu ba wa she. Baba e ni i she she ni. I 
yani jejeni jeje la bo kato borisha it is our mothers and our fathers who are our isheshe and it is isheshe to whom we pay homage before any other entity we give thanks and give praise for all of our progenitors for all of the originators and keepers of our traditions asheu Mojuba Ori, Mojuba Baba, Mojuba Yeye, Mojuba Wana La Seku, Mojuba Bobo Bobo Orisha, Mojuba Teshu Odara Nikahan Lo Suru, Mojuba Baba Miobata La Epa, Baba Rubo Epa, Orisha Wepa Mole Baba Mi Mojuba Osunye Oreye Ye, Mojuba Shango Kao Kabesi, Mojuba Ogunye Omomari Wo Gimbe Mi Obi Oshebe Mi Akoko, Mojuba Oshosi Ode Mata, Mojuba Mobeji, Mojuba Ekbe, Mojuba Oloku Molagba, Oh yeah, yansa eh oh banani bo 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 risha. Kinka mache. Let no harm, hurt, or danger come to anyone listening to the sound of my voice. Kinka mache. We say and we say the names of anyone who we want to bring into this sacred circle of protection right now. I say kinka mache, Rev Regina. Kinka mache to each and every one listening to the sound of my voice. Kinka mache me. Oh, don't forget. Say kinka mache for yourself. Kinka mache me. Kosi iku, kosi arun, kosi ebe, kosi ofo, kosi olopa, kosi idina, kosi wahala rara. Let there be no problems whatsoever for anyone listening to the sound of my voice. We say, Fumwa ni ori re, Fumwa ni ilera, Fumwa ni alafia, ire owo, ire omo, ire aiku, Fumbobo wa ashe o, ashe o. I do play, I do play, I do play. Roo! I do play, 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 I do play. We give thanks, we give praise, we give thanks, we give praise, we give thanks, we give praise, we give thanks. Ah, for being able to call out, for being able to offer these prayers for being able to call for protection over those we love for being able to call for protection over mm-hmm. ourselves That's as we right. walk down the path to our blessings let us not look left let us not look right mm-hmm. but let us go straight yes, let us yes, never yes. be distracted let us never be robbed of our blessings let us yes, never yes, falter yes, let us get home yes, with yes, the blessings yes. Today, tomorrow, and always, I share, 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 I share. Whoo! I do play, oh, I do play, oh, I do play, oh. You know, I be hype when I'm praying and connecting and just feeling all of y'all's energy. I give so much thanks for each of your presence. I give so much thanks for this ability that we have to call out. Whew, now that we have called out, you know what time it is. It's time to listen to that sound deep in our hearts. It's time to go into our meditative space for just a few minutes to hear the message that Spirit has that is only for us. To hear the message that Spirit has that we can only hear from the inside of ourselves that one piece that's going to plug in and help us get to our blessings. Ashe, 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 ashe. So I want to invite you right now mm, to begin breathing deeply with me in through your nose and out through your mouth. I invite you to gently close your eyes and relax your body, allowing all imagery to fade from your mind's eye, letting it grow fainter and paler until you are left with a brilliant white in your mind's eye. Hold that white for just a few moments as you feel a wave of sacred relaxation roll down your body, starting from your head, it rolls down your neck, down your shoulders, you relax, release tension, down your arms, 
down your legs into your feet. You relax. You feel a wave of ashe, of sacred energy, rush back up through your feet, up your legs, up past your hips, up your torso, out your arms to the tips of your fingers, back up into your head. Ah, you are energized. You are refreshed. You are empowered. Ashe, Ashe. We bring our attention now to our outward breath as we prepare to release those things which no longer serve us in this moment. Mm, we breathe out distractions. We breathe out impatience. We breathe out fear. We breathe out disobedience. We breathe out sadness. We breathe out procrastination. We breathe out pain. You know what you stand in need of releasing in this moment. State it. I breathe out and breathe it out right now. Let it go. Grief, depression, self-doubt. We breathe them all out right now. And now that we have made room within ourselves, we allow our faces to smile. We show our teeth, activate our cheeks, chins, and foreheads as we breathe in. Eat a bowl, Breathing in all blessings, yes. We breathe in peace. Mm, yes. We breathe in happiness. Mm, yes. We breathe in discipline. Mm, yes. We breathe in patience. Mm, yes. We breathe in abundance. Mm, yes. We breathe in confidence. We breathe in power. Mm, yes. 
all that we need. Obedience, steadfastness, prosperity, hope. All of these and more are contained in our next breath. We breathe them in. Mmm, I do way, I do way. Iba orumi la e pa ifa o eleri bin o boni regun. Iba keji olo du mare. I do way orumi la. I do way ifa. Ba wa she aboru aboye o ni le ifa. I she. We give thanks. Bow our share, Romila. Bow our share. Oh, unto. me 
cleansing breaths in through our noses and out through our mouths, beginning with one. begin to reawaken our bodies. Wiggle your toes. Rotate your ankles. Straighten and bend your knees. Lean gently forward and back. Let your shoulders roll in gentle circles forward and back. Let your head fall gently from side to side. Move your body however feels good to you in this moment. And finally, the eyes, those precious windows to the soul. Gently open them and rejoin the space. Ashe o adupe, ashe o ekabo. Do iba eshu adupe. Hey, welcome back, family. Woo. Ah, pray that that journey was as beautiful for you as it was for me. We give thanks for being able to breathe out, to let go, to release those things mm, that do not serve and to breathe in the prosperity, the goodness, the patience, the confidence, the power. Know that at any time mm, you can breathe out what you don't need and breathe in what you do you can sit and just relax your body and go into that space behind your eyes where you're able to commune with spirit you can do this ashe 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 blessings blessings you are all so very welcome you're so very welcome i thank you for taking that journey with me if you have felt blessed by your experience today, you are so lovingly invited to participate in the Ministry of Giving, which you can do by heading to asheiray.com. You can also do so at dollar sign Funlayo or at asheiray. We give so much thanks. That's Cash App and Venmo. You can also send offerings via PayPal using the email address funlayo at asheiray.com. We are so grateful for each and every seed that you sow into the ministry. And no, 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 always that your most precious gift that you have is not your money, but it is your time, your energy, and your attention. And so I am honored that you choose to spend those precious currencies here with me and the Ashe Ray family. And I pray that you always only spend your time, your energy, and your attention in places and with people who uplift you in places and with people who remind you to stay on the path to your blessings in places and with people who will not seek to distract you in places and with people Mm, who make you just feel good like the right reverend my mama she make me feel good these are the people to spend your time energy and attention with we're so grateful we're so grateful if this is your first time with us we pray that it will not be your last at cabo welcome 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 to the family please do head on over to asheiray.com get some more of this medicine we got for you over there you can get my ebook 
learn the prayer that we say together each week. It is not just for me to say, you can say it too. So go on ahead and get that. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube right now, make sure you subscribe. If you're on any other venue, make sure you head to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get notifications whenever we start any of our good offerings that we give. You can also text Alafia to 917-634-4680 to stay the closest in touch. That comes right into my pocket. That is how you stay the closest in touch with the family. Tomorrow morning, we'll be back together again at 8 a.m. bright and early, getting our week started right. Shout out to the Clubhouse crew. You can go on ahead and follow me over there at Iafun Layo to make sure that you connect with us in the mornings. We get our blessings and our lesson for the week. I also get to hear from you, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to do. So please do join us tomorrow morning and I'll look forward to being with you. Second Sundays is going to be back next month in September. So we look forward to being back together for our monthly lecture in the fall. And oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I gotta give a shout because community registration is now open. We are going to start back on September 7th. We have a beautiful featured course on the African origins of the Bible with Baba Dr. Will Eshuyemi Coleman. We are so excited to have him with us and we will be teaching Yoruba level one. Uh, for those who have not taken it, make sure that is the class that you need to get yourself down the path of Orisha practice so that you understand the words, so that you are confident saying your prayers. So we are so looking forward to having you with us. Be sure to send a text. You can get a special discount code there and or joining the email list. Both of those are places where you'll get great discount codes in order to join us, right? Learn.asheiray.com is where you go to register. And again, be sure you're on the text list or the email list or both to get updates and discount codes for that, all right? Y'all go ahead and be great. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Be blessed and be fabulous as you are. You know how we close it out. Come on and sing it with me. Ashe. Ashe, 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 on the east side, Ashe to the west now, Ashe, north and south now, Ashe, 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 Mama with the harmony, yes, now. <laughs> Y'all have a beautiful day, Odabo family.